Warning, before viewing and doing anything I mentioned in this video regarding your Run8 files, please stop and back them up. Your horns, your bells, and any sounds and files you plan to modify need to be backed up and moved to a separate location from your Run8 install. I am not responsible for any file issues or problems from your computer or your Run8 install that may come from modifying files. Please proceed with caution. All right, hello everyone. Christy here at S Horse at SD70, and uh, been getting some requests here for help with making horns. And today we're going to walk you through how to create horns and bells for Run 8 V3. Uh, it's a totally different process. There's no more um, XWBs and XSBs, and copying the wrong thing over could mess your sim up. It's all a simple WAV file. One WAV file is all you need, but it has to meet a few certain requirements. So what we'll do, I'm going to work on a K5HL uh, for V3. I've got one here that I haven't converted yet, so I'm going to walk you through the process of how I do it and uh, one of the easier ways to create horns and stuff for yourself. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. All right, one of the first things you're going to need is an audio editing program, and I use Audacity. Uh, it's free, it's easy to use, pretty simple. Um, it meets all my needs. I was using it for my V2 stuff use them for V3 stuff and other various things for other applications. Um, so go ahead and get this, or if you have your own program, um, feel free to use that, but I, I use Audacity. And then what you're going to want to get next is the file you want. Now, I've, I have several files, all from my uh, collection of horns I've made over the years. So we're going to take this K5HL, which I've named K5HL5 because it was the fifth one I did. So we're going to go ahead and take these and drag them into Audacity. Now you have the the sound wave files. Now, uh, an interesting thing here, what you need to do is the the sound file has to make, meet a requirement. It has to be at least 10 seconds long. This 10 second length is how the sim handles the file. So right now, actually, it's under. It's shared about 8.5 seconds. So I'm going to go in so I need what? I need a second and a half. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it up to the seven second mark right here. Copy it. I'm going to paste it and try to create a loop. Paste it. Then I, what I like to do is I'll, I'll join these two together. Click and drag from like usually where the, uh, where the sound wave comes over the, the midpoint of the file. Um, and then I'll go to effect and then repair. And this creates this nice, you shouldn't get a little clip or a dip or whatever in the file. It should be pretty smooth. So I'll go back through and well, I listen to it. So it's right here at this 850 mark. So there's nothing there. You don't have any kind of wild now. So that's that's set. So I moved it out to 10 seconds because what, what I'm going to need to do, luckily the release is already one second. There's two basic terms when dealing with these horns. You have what they call an attack and a release. The attack is when you push the file. So I'm going to, let me solo this here. So the attack would be, let's say I hit the space bar or the button on my rail driver and the horn plays. That's your attack. And that plays all the way through this until you get to the end of it or you let go of the button. Um, I haven't tested the theory that the horn loops, but I'm hearing that once it gets to the end of this file here, it'll loop and start over again or at least up to the, the one second mark. I think the attack is considered one second. Uh, that's something I need to play with. I need to play with some horns that have quill at the head end of them or something like that. But that's, that's all part of the learning process. But anyway, the, the attack is zero to one seconds and there's the bulk of this. But, but the release needs to be the last second of the file. So it needs to be from the nine second mark to the 10 second mark. So we're going to take this file. Let me unsolo it here. What I like to do is I'll move this. I'll take this. Um, this time shift tool, I can move this whole thing over. So I'll move this to the one second mark. Now I know exactly where I need to make my cut. So I'll drag the rear of this over to the nine second mark. Or even right in here. I think right in here. Well, nah, we'll make it nine seconds on the dot. We'll make it nice and even there. So we make my cut. And then we'll take this, copy it, drop it down. And using the same method, just join these two files together and find a good spot. Now, uh, the repair tool won't work if you do anything over. See these little dots here? If you do them over like a 100, 128 of the dots combined. 
and it'll tell you if it won't do it. So you repair it. Now, I'm going to solo this again so we can hear it. Now we have our release. So we'll just cut in a little bit. Now right here at the 9 second mark, watch the, watch the line. When it hits the 9 second mark, that's where your release will play. So let's listen to it. Nice and seamless. Now it's a little, is it a little longer? I think the release, no, that's actually pretty good, right at 10 seconds. Now what'll happen after 10 seconds, the horn will cut, it'll just end, it's done. It'll just stop. If you hit the release, if the, let me rephrase it. If you hit the release and your release is longer than one second and it goes over 10, this little bit right here might get cut off. So actually what I think I'll do is I'll take, I'll take a little sliver out of this here. Let's see, 10 seconds. Yeah, I'll just take a tiny little sliver out of this and we'll just improve the fade a little bit, just to kind of fool it a little bit so it thinks. There you go. Always play your sounds, too. Don't be afraid to d just, just, just to go on a whim. Play your sounds, step back, and let it play, and listen to it. That's not too bad. Now, the, 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 one, the one downside is that, like, some of my horns had these really nice echoes and these really nice long fade-outs and stuff. That's, you're going to lose a lot of that now, so you need, kind of need to be a little more picky with your horns. So, we've done that. we got our attack. We've got our release. It's all put together. So now we have a complete file. Um, the sound's decent. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to save this and get it into the sim. Okay, so after the file has been made, we will go to not save. This is the project. This will create, this will save everything. We want to go to export selected audio. So right here, we'll click this whole thing. This turns blue. This is all selected. So file, export selected audio. Now, this is also where you're going to, and I'll show you how I have mine set up. Um, I have a folder for all of this stuff. So I have V3 new files. These are all the new, all of the new horns, well not new, but they're the ones from V2 that I've converted over and put them into V3. So just get a nice tidy place to, to put your finished files so they don't interfere with your project files and your old files and so on. Get a nice clean place to put everything. So, after export selected audio, make sure you pick your file name. Now, this is important. It must be a WAV. Wave, WAV, whatever. Dot W-A-V. It must be dot WAV or dot wave. So, save it. Hit OK. If you're doing this on Dacity, I guess it could be different, but, I mean, it still needs to be a WAV regardless of where you do it. So, now I'll go to V3 New Files, and I have them set by date modified. So, here's my K5HL5. Where do you put them? We will go here to, uh, this is where I pulled the original file from, so we will go to Windows, C Drive, Run 8 Studios, Run 8 Train Simulator V3, Content, V3 Rail Vehicles, Sounds, and then in this file you have Bells, Desktop, and Horns. The Bells will cover, we're going into Horns, and here's a list of all your Horns. Now this has the ones that came with the sim and the new ones, so we're going to take the K5HL5, copy and paste okay that's it now it's in the game that's all you got to do um, now I always like to go test my horns to make sure they've worked out properly so we're going to fire up v3 I like to go to Moncrief because usually it doesn't take near as long to load Moncrief if you go to SoCal it's gonna take a lot longer to load just to test a horn and you really don't want to do that you'd rather just just real quick pop in pop out so here we are, Moncrief, TMU, Control F1, as per usual. I like to throw this on the Run 8 Western, uh, just for testing purposes, because I really don't use this engine. So once you could drop this in, Control F3 brings up the horn menu and another feature. Uh, the horn and bell menu now works in the servers. So you don't have to drop out of a server and lose your connect, stop your train, blah, blah, blah. Everything can change, be changed on the fly. So which is a nice feature. Okay, so now you'll get a list of your horns in, I believe, alphabetical order, it looks like. Um, so everything you've done is in here. So the Ford 01, K5 LA02, K5 LA03. These, these ones are the underscores. These are the ones that came with the sim. The other ones are ones I made. And if you notice, the list is big because you can create, like, almost an infinite list of horns. So if you want to put a hundred different horns in there and give each engine its own unique horn, you can do that. So now your 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 NS units and your Connor units can have two totally different horns, but and on top of that, then they can all be unique 
beyond that. You don't have to keep copying over files and changing this and that, you know. So let's find our K5 HL5 right here. And let's see if she worked. Well, a quick test of the horn. Perfect loop, perfect start. It's just, it's it, it's so much easier. Before you had to create two files, and one had to be the release, one had to be the attack, and then the loop would be weird and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, just listen. Now the release sounds a little funky, but it still sounds good. It still works. So that's horn making. Now we will scooch on to bells. Okay, come back to the desktop. I've cleaned Audacity out of the old files and I've gone to my list of original bells. Now the bells are, they operate pretty much the same way. Um, just take uh, take a file, so I found this GE fast bell that I made. We'll listen to it, a quick sample. Okay, so that's that's gonna be our, uh, that's our file. Um, so we'll t drag it to Audacity and set it up. Now, one thing that has to be done is that you need to have a good loop of your bells, because they will play infinitely. There's no attack and release with your bells. So you just want to make sure you've got the, you know, if you're going with a with an air bell, a pneumatic bell, you want a solenoid click. So you get that tick, 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 and then the ring of the bell. Like, well, listen here. If you listen for the tick. You want that tick in there, and you need it to be a loop. And I mean, if you put it in the sim, and that's why I say to test your sounds after you make them. When you put them into the sim, it won't sound right. You might hear it, like, loop too quickly. You'll notice it's not right. Again, another thing, too, in in the V3 um, folder, there's a folder called User Guides, and then in there, there's uh, two f uh, two files or two documents. One called Authoring Horns, and the other one called Authoring Bells. Make sure you read those two. Don't don't take my word for it. Read those, and they have a little extra information. But I mean, this is the most basic form of it. So we're going to actually leave this. Um, we only need two, so we're going to take. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. So we're just going to, I'm going to take two, uh, when the bell I made before, I left two rings and then left it. So we're just going to take the, right here from the beginning where we get, the, I think we get a click. Okay, I uh, took a second to cut the file down on my own. I wanted to make sure we had a loop and everything and I wasn't rambling on while I did it. But I have it, now I have it down to two clicks. You see at the beginning of the solenoid, then the bell, then the solenoid, then the bell, and then that, that sequence should repeat. Okay, so... Another thing, too, is that the bells are really quiet, I've come to notice, so try to bump them up if you can. So you go to Effect, select everything here, Effect, and then Amplify. And now it'll only amplify by 0.5 or half a decibel. And I've come to find that even that's not enough, you could bump it up to, like, let's just try 5. And it'll tell you, if you do 5, it'll clip. So you're going to start hearing that crackling and stuff. That's fine. You won't notice that crackling over the run of the engine or anything like that. The the rolling sounds or whatever. You, you probably won't notice it. So we'll crank it up. Now this might be a little louder. So it may not even be loud enough in my experience. This is something you'll need to play with as the end user to try to figure out what you want to do. Now we're going to file, export selected audio, and now we're going to get a big, this is big, 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 big. You have to pay attention to this. There's two types of bell files, and you'll see one here. There's E underscore E bell that I have, and then there's another one down here where I did M EMD steel bell and M G E steel bell. Now, when you're creating different types of horns, and by types I mean electronic bells or mechanical bells, you have to specify this in the prefix. So your mechanical bell, and this must have it. I, I said that you could change the you can change the set the files and main whatever you want. You can, but the bells must have a M underscore or E underscore prefix. This is so the sim can differentiate between, like when you turn the bell off in the cab, it'll play the air release sound. That differentiates that. So if your bell has the M underscore sound, like this one does here, because we're going to name it M underscore GE fast bell. Now the sim knows that when you hit that, when you hit the release button in the cab or on your L drive or whatever, it'll play that noise when you turn the bell off of the air letting go. The E bell won't play that because it's an electronic bell. It has no air, obviously. So make sure that your bells have this prefix between them. And the, the, the authoring bells user guide also explains this if you forget this. So M underscore GE fast bell, mechanical bell. We have it set for a WAV or WAVE file. Save.
Okie doke. And then we'll go to where do I have it? M3 new or excuse me, V3 new files. We will copy and paste. Um whoops, I'm getting lost. Okay. Uh same thing. We'll go back to run eight studios. V run eight train simulator. Content. Rail vehicles. Sounds. And now we go to bells. And in here you will find the original bells. Uh, I think it's the one with the O, the zeros before the numbers. And then we will paste and drop it in. So now we have MGE fast bell. So we will go back to V3, fire it up. I'll go right back to Moncrief. I love the elevator music. Okay, so back to Moncrief. Fire it up. And back to my test bed. All right, here we go. We got it selected. Control F3, same thing. Bell. Now, if you notice, here's my bells. EMD steel bell. G M M G E M G E bell. M G E fast bell. And just so you can tell the difference, here's the M G E bell. But if you step back, it's pretty quiet. That's why I that's why I was cranking it up. It with the with the uh, uh thanks. So let's go to M G E bell and now we will do M G E fast bell. This is the one we just made. Hear that loop? Nice loop. There's no like weird cuts or anything. And we step back. It's a little quiet, so they might need they might need a little more work, but let's pop in the cab. So you can kind of hear it in the cab. So, um, but that's it. That is the most basic form of making horns and bells. Really simple. It's much easier than it was um, than it was before. Uh, the V yeah, V two was a little more difficult. You had to put the two files together, then put them through XAct, and then it, you know build them out and all this and that. This is just drop editing a file, simple WAV, drop it in, boom, and you go. Um, very simple, very easy. So. Um, uh, once again, another disclaimer, please, 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 please back up your files. Back up your horns, take that whole horn file, take that whole bell file, back them up. Anytime, anytime you edit anything in Run 8, back it up. Put it, copy it, paste it someplace else that's not near your Run 8 install. Because if you goof up and you do something wrong or something happens... The sim may not work right if the files aren't there or they're not right. And the sim could go totally kerflooey if you don't do it right. So please, 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 please back up your files. I don't want to be in a day with messages saying, hey, your horn screwed my game up. I'm not responsible for your horns messing the game up. Just so you know. It's not my problem. But I want to bring this to you guys so you can make your own horns and make your own bells because it's super easy now. You can go out trackside and uh, uh, make your own horns. And if you do... Please try to, if you're going out with the intent of creating horns and bells for running, please go somewhere quiet, away from traffic, loud noises, crossing bells. Please go away from the crossings with crossing bells. Crossing bells absolutely kill everything. Try to get slow-moving engines or ones that are stopped completely, and if that's possible, like a horn honk or something like that. The, the slower or stationary, more stationary a horn is, the better quality it'll be. Avoid the wind. And of you know, just avoid all kind of outside sounds and 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 fast movements and everything. So it's possible you can do it. You can record things. I've recorded them on my phone, on engines before. I've I've got stopped some places. Told the engineer, hey, can I blow the horn for like ten seconds? And I'll just hold the horn down and record it out my cab window with my phone, and have had decent results. So if you have a decent smartphone, you could probably get you know, it's not a professional quality, but it's just for this train sim. So it's not like, you know. You're not sending it to Dr. Dre or anybody for use in a video. So that's uh, that's making horns. Um, if you if you have any questions, uh, you can message me. I'll put a link to my Discord, and then you can uh, join it and then message me, and uh, I can try to help you out. Plus, there's also a running enhancement community that's uh, full of help. Uh, I can send you a link to that as well. So I uh, hope you guys uh, have fun making horns and bells and see what you come up with. There's a whole myriad of things you can do. So... Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, good luck making these, and take care. I'll see you next time.